Greetings from Phantom's Gate. Dark Prince plays here. Lend the curtains rise on another episode of my Let's Play of Pokemon Brilliant Diamond. And there was a weird shadow thing in the right, top right corner again. Anyways, in the last episode, we finally left Veilstone City and made our way through Route 214 to finally make... Or not even finally, because never really touched on it until now. But we made our way through Route 14, 214, making, making it here to Valor... Yeah, Valor Lakefront. I don't... <laughs> Trying to hold it together, okay? <laughs> and this time I'm gonna be kind of exploring some of the things that we can do here at Valor Lakefront. And probably also make our way through Route 213 to make it to Pastoria City, the location of our next gym battle. So if you haven't seen the previous episodes, previous episodes, make sure before watching this one so you're caught up with everything that's happened up to this point. And if you enjoyed sorry. If you enjoyed, make sure to like and subscribe to get more let's play videos like this one. Anyways. Uh, ba -ba 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 -ba. Okay, I'm gonna kind of go in here, but I won't really do much. At the restaurant, you can enjoy more than just exquisite dining. You may also partake in battles. Bon appetit! So yeah, in here, if you talk to the people who are presumably eating, even though there's clearly no food on their tables, uh, they will battle you, and yeah, that's kind of it, I think. There might be a reward that I don't recall from doing that, but I'm not entirely sure. But I'm going to hold off on doing that right now because that is a pretty decent source of EXP. And also, I guess, additionally a good source of money. But I kind of don't want to battle them just yet until I'm like more sure of my team. Because as I've said before, I don't really want to make Sonar a permanent member of the team, even though he's very good. I, it's just my arbitrary rule. Anyways, we're a traveling trope of uh, street performers. In a, place of a formal a place of a formal introduction, please take these. TM92s. That is, I don't actually know. Oh, Trick Room is a doozy of a weird move. Use it, and for a while afterward, the slowest Pokemon will get to use their attack first bam I'll use trick room is up to you trainer so trick room is actually not that bad of a move for certain teams it will as he said it'll make slower Pokemon faster and vice versa faster Pokemon slower which could honestly bring a lot of use to Pokemon such as Rampardos or Bronzor who easily get outsped a lot of the time so might be worth putting on a Bronzor if you kind of want, or if your Pokemon are more on the slower side. Personally, I'm not going to do it because I have Pokemon like Jackie Chan and Allison on the team who are both fairly fast. Really, I think the slowest, like, I think the only slow Pokemon on my team is Bronzor. Yeah, okay, Allison's kind of slow, so maybe I should have used her as an example, but I mean, when she evolves into Rose Raid, she's gonna be pretty fast me I'm just a simple soul I let my guitar do all my talking all I need is music and Pokemon I could shine wherever I go if I have those things in, li in my life let me gaze into your eyes I will read your fortune a magical encounter is in the winds though I cannot tell whether it will be with a Pokemon or a trainer I don't think that has any practical use. It might, and honestly, I wouldn't be surprised if it did, but I guess that's a thing. And here is actually a pretty important building to remember. Team Director. Hi there, it's me, the Gengar Loving Director. Battling other trainers sure is exciting, isn't it? Keep building up those bonds with your Pokemon so you can take on tougher trainers. Ciao, I'm a game director. You're working on filling a po You're working on filling a Pokedex, aren't you? It's awesome that you're getting to meet lots of Pokemon. Come show me your Pokedex when you filled it with tons of entries. So yeah, this, this is a pretty cute fourth wall break that is I'm pretty sure is present in every Pokemon game. So yeah, once you complete the Sinnoh decks and the and also the National decks, you can come back here and they will give you a digital certificate 
I don't think they give you the shiny charm in this game. I don't even know when that really starts. I want to say XY, but it totally could also be black and white. Uh, but yeah, it's a really neat place to remember. Oh, hello. Wish to stay the night? I'm afraid we're totally booked. You may rest a while if you wish. Kind of a midway checkpoint if you don't want to have to fly or walk all the way back to Bailstone City. I think you could fly. Oh no, I, I don't even think you can fly here. You restored your Pokemon to full health. We hope to see you again. See, this is the kind of place that's appropriate for you to say, we hope to see you again. This hotel is so romantic. I hope a night on a Pokemon will sweep me away for a honeymoon here. Okay, so I think what I want to do, so that girl up front was talking about the Dowsing Machine. So I found a red shard. I know, she was telling me about how she lost her key. So I might want to use the Dowsing Machine to help her find it. Or at least help myself find it. I stand sto stoically in front of a deep blue sea. Why? Because I'm a rich boy. <laughs> the seaside suits me better than the sea. So yeah, I don't think we've encountered this kind of Shellos yet. Yeah, so if you recall, back at the Valley Windworks, the Shellos we encountered was pink, and this one is blue. So the pink one is West Sea Shellos, and this is East Sea Shellos. The different ones you can find are, oops, oh wait, actually I guess I could pull out the Poketch. Yeah, it just depends on what side of the region you're on. So the pink ones are going to be on this side, and the blue ones are going to be on this side. Although, I'd, there are only select places that you can find them at, and since I already pressed save, might as well. Even though the autosave is on. Okay, and now to use the, the dowsing machine. And I'm pretty sure she does give you something if you use it. I doubt it's indoors. You, never, you can never be too sure. I might be here for a little bit. It's not here, is it? I might honestly have to cut back to when I find the key. Oh, a bottle of PP up. You know what? I'm just wasting my time with this. I might as well just pull it up on Bulbapedia because why the heck not at this point? No, 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 no. Oh. I, oh. Oh. Oh, never mind, you do get the shiny charm here. Oh, it's just in the remakes, gotcha. Uh... Huh. Okay, so you get the shiny charm after uh, getting the national decks, but it doesn't really count for mythical Pokemon. Uh, let's see here. No less than the northern reception entrance. Immediately northwest. Wait, what? Oh, it means the northern entrance. I'm so dumb. Stupid what like This is as northwest as I can go. But no, it's on Route 213. I'm 
immediately northwest. I think I'm dumb. What? Am I stupid? I. No, I literally have no idea. Okay, now I'm actually going to look at this. What? Okay, I think the dowsing machine is broken. Hold on. Now you want to react. So that's what it meant by immediately. Oh, all of a sudden, you found the sweet key. Let me lose my mind. What am I to do? I've gone and dropped my sweet key somewhere again. Oh, that's my sweet key. You found it for me? Oh, that's sweet of you. Thank you. Well, gee, thank you too. Just kidding, okay. <laughs> They're talking to her again should give you an item. I think. Thanks for helping me out. Here's something for your trouble. You obtained a lava cookie. I believe that's a... I think that's something from the Hoenn region? I get careless with the sweet key when I get caught up in my scenery on my blocks. Anywho, I believe the lava cookie is an item that heals all status ailment <clears throat> status ailments. Yeah, leverage the town's local specialty. Can be used once to heal all status condi conditions of a Pokemon. Pretty much the same as a full heal or the old ghetto. Yeah, I think. I think just, no, I believe Unova's, I think Unova's is the, the, the ice cream, what was it, a bear tick cone? Yeah, that sounds right. And then, oh god, what was Kalos's? It was like the Lumios, it was like a Lumios cookie, kinda. And then, uh, <laughs> I can battle too. Uh, Jono's was the Rage Candy Bar and uh, Tuber Chelsea. Beaver roll. And then obviously Hoenn's is the Lava Cookie and then Sinnoh's is the Old Gitto. So, yeah, there's that. Well, there's two, like, early game Pokemon evolved. I wonder who's gonna win. Oh, heavens me. Oh, you're... Oh, Aqua Jet. Okay, that makes sense. Anyway, Spark. Yeah, I guess you really don't have to train that much, because, again, I haven't really done any battles off screen, and I'm at a pretty good level for where we're at. I lost, and now I feel hungry. Also, she had the, the same animation as the youngster. They keep recycling recycled animations. They thought no one would notice. Isn't, isn't it nice? I love my inner tube. Okay, shell off. I think he's gonna have Westy? I mean EC, that's what I meant. I got mixed up for a bit. Why does it look like we're in the desert when it's facing me? <laughs> The beach isn't a desert with water. I mean, I guess, mm, no, no, it's not. <clears throat> Anyways, time to obliterate this thing. Uh -oh. <clears throat> <clears throat> <clears throat> <clears throat> <clears throat> huh. 
How did that still? I faced away from the mic and it kind of went away. Oh well. Other shell loss. Cool. How come you have three Pokemon? Chalos. Whoa, look out. Team diversity here. Anywho. I couldn't move very well because my inner suit got in the way. You're not the one battling your Pokemon are. And actually they can't even move that much at all because they're slugs. Oh well. Anyways, it kind of dawned on me during the battle that I might actually uh, want to consider... Where is it? Oh, is it somewhere else then? I was thinking and I think I might actually want to use the PP up on Giga Drain since... I doubt I'm going to teach it Energy Ball since I just Giga Drain is pretty good for what I'm trying to do. So I think I might actually want to do that. Now Giga Drain has 12 PP. So yeah, it really meant slightly, but I mean, that's pretty significant actually for what it is. Cause that gives us two additional like, turns to heal. And with the big root then, yeah. Okay, now there are actually, okay, while I'm battling you, I might as well go over, there's a fancy hotel and a fancy place with a fancy restaurant. The fancy restaurant's filled with fancy people who think of themselves as being too fancy to battle alone. Well, fancy that. <laughs> anyway. Uh, okay, I might as well make this more efficient. So I think there are things in these rocks like this, then I can just... It's not... Oh, I almost had that fish reeled in. You screwed me over, man! Anyways, while I'm battling him, I might as well actually go over the new encounter on this route. Okay, I guess encounters... EC Shellos can also be caught here when at a higher level too, so actually hold on. Let me see what level it would you be at here. Route 213. Uh okay. Okay, it's at a higher level, but you will have to train it up a little bit still in order to evolve it. Uh, Rememory, that's a new Pokemon. But yeah, if you... If you didn't... Or if you did pass up on West Sea Shell Loss, Back of the Valley Windworks, and also on the route before Eternus Forest, which I forgot which route that was, uh, you can catch it here at a slightly higher level. And, oh, Gyarados is intimidating. No pun intended, but now it is. I am it. I am what? That's not even a word. I do believe it is. Yeah, it's still possible to capture Gastrodon as the Gastrodon later on. Yeah. Oh, I guess it's kind of uncommon as as a Gastrodon. But yeah, if you. And I guess also if you like the blue Shellas better than the pink one, then this could also be a good reason to catch it here. Personally, I like East Sea Shellas better than West Sea just because I like the blue like color palette on it. And just the green it gets when it's a Gastron. It it just looks pretty cool. You need to have more respect for a grown-up. Someone salty. Saltier than the sea. 
Dr. Footsteps House, footprints reveal all. I'm just gonna move on without commenting on that. Welcome are quite easy for me to read. I need only to see their footprints and their innermost thoughts are revealed to me. Oh, you were skeptical of my claim? Let me you as Elliot walk in front of me, right here. Oh. For its footprints, it will determine how it feels about you. Eve and I make a perfectly matched combo. I've seen all sorts of people so far, but he understands my feelings the most. I'm a little hungry, you can tell, right? What? That's what Rosalia thinks of you? But all that deep, thoughtful, touching stuff, and then I'm a little hungry, did you know that? So I think there is a slight chance for, oh, for Pokemon to jump out of the rocks. Should be more up here, yeah. Is this just a honey tree or is there actually... I was just gonna start mashing a randomly, but okay, we got an awakening. I feel like there's... nope. I feel like there'd be something around here, no? What about this? Are you gonna battle me or... nope. TM40 Aerial Ace. I think that's a 60 base power. I think it's 60 base power, but it's a physical flying type move that never misses. Something on the top of this big cliff here. My instincts tell me. Th my instincts tell me that. How am I supposed to climb up? This wall is very rocky. Could a hidden move let you scale it? Yeah, we saw a couple of these back at Veilstone City, but that is a hidden move that we won't be able to use for quite some time. So we're gonna have to remember these for later. And as for you, let me demonstrate my technique. It's how this grown-up battles. I don't know what kind of voice that was, but let's just go along with it. Beauty Cindy. Are you gonna have an interesting Pokemon? Glameo. Not that interesting, but still a Pokemon, I guess. How much you wanna bet that she's gonna use Fake Out first thing? And if she doesn't, I'll just punish. Oh, what? I. That is, I think, the first time I've ever seen a. Aww. Look, the power of love and friendship. I think that's the first time I've ever seen a Glameon not lead with Fake Out. Let me show you how this lady battles. She does not understand how to use a Glameon. That's how you attack Pasha. <laughs> I feel like that's kind of your fault for not leading with one of Glameow's most n notable attacks. Oh wait, and if the other Pokemon in Sprout, I was just talking about Shellos the whole time. Uh, Wingle can also be found here, which, yeah, is essentially, okay, Gyarados is also a water and flying type, but I think Gyarados does it better. The thing about Wingle is it's a fast special attacker, a fast special attacker, but its stats lack everywhere else, so it is pretty frail. It's, it does get better defense stats after evolving at level 25, which is not too far off from the, the level it should be at when it's caught here. And even though it does get better defense and just better stats in general when it evolves, it's it does get slower, but it's not that big of a deal in exchange for better defenses. And probably not. There's Ross Berries. Could be good to have in this upcoming gym, potentially. And I say potentially for a reason. We haven't even. Oh, right! I can actually go back and collect all the berries I've planted previously. Uh, pen raspberries. When am I gonna plant. Um, gonna plant a cherry berry. Chesto berry. I might honestly go back and collect my berries between episodes. Ross berry. And, uh, blah, 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 blah. I'll plant a citrus berry. And we've made it. What do you have to say? 
But Prince Olaf doesn't say when you walk on a beach. Pokemon seem to enjoy living with Prince as much as people. It's a long way from Veilstone. I'm exhausted. Mmm. Yeah, just a two-episode journey, and we made it to Pistoria City. Wait, that say? Did that actually say Pistoria City? It looked like it said Route something. Nope, it did say Pistoria City. And we've made it! What is this? Oh wait, is this- yep, Pistoria Great Marsh Observatory Gate. Urgh, this is so annoying. What is it? Oh, some kid with only three badges. Little twerps like you should stay out of the Team Galactic's way. Now it's packaged from Veilstone. Where should I set it off? Yep, this is gonna be a smashing job for Team Galactic. You're just a totally impatient boy. I'm. You're just like the totally impatient boy I met earlier. Just like you, he was very close with his Pokemon. Hey, thanks for making me smile. These might put a smile on your face. Bubble Stickers B. Someone gave me a berry, so I planted it and grew some more. Then I took the berries and cooked them into Poffins. All the work is worth it when I, when I see how happy po Poffins make my Pokemon. Okay, so now that we've made it to a new city, and also these I assume are more the events from the Grand Underground. Now that we're here, I guess this is a good place to end off. Next time on Pokemon Brilliant Diamond, I'll explore Pastoria City as well as some of the area that, uh, that's around it. And maybe also check out the Great Marsh, too. So, I'll see you guys in the next one. And... Goodbye!